You went to school for film, eh? Yeah. Pero, let's start first with the music. Here is a newbie pumasok sa industriya na wala siyang idea and you were able to navigate your way without really saying what can't be said, di ba? Mm-hmm. It wasn't handed to you, eh. You had to fight for your place in the yeah. music industry. Mm-hmm. Can you share oh. yung, yung beginning nung, nung pagsimula mo? Because, how old were you? I think I was, when I started, yeah, I Sa was music. fresh out of, five, maybe 16 or... Yeah, 16. So, and yeah. so, kakatoka sa pinto ng mga record executives. Yeah. How do you demand time? <laughs> I think maybe I was at a point of desperation <laughs> at that time. Because I, I, I had like a, you know, I had a family to provide for. Uh-huh. So, that was my motivation. It wasn't, um, yeah, it was, you know, medyo on a gut level that... Medyo got siya, but actually, from my end at that time, also I was working with someone that was a genius, also. So it wasn't, you know, I was basically, you know, like on behalf of him. So I had that confidence came from who I represented, also. And, you know, <laughs> yung desperation joke, yun, pero a little bit also because, of course, that. I had to that that was also part of it. You had to want it talaga. Eh, yeah, diba? I had to yeah, I had to I had to I had to And and the reason why I'm asking And that was the you know major motivation. Kaya I didn't care about anything else like pride or whatever. I just you know had to do it. So I had no other choice. That you, ooh, na, sa, sana na dampot niyo yun guys ha. Yung I had no other choice kasi Pag marami kang choices, minsan tatamarin ka na talaga to move forward. Ah, pwede naman to, pwede naman to, di ba? Mm. Pero yung sayo, yung, yung sinay mo, yung pride, tinanggal mo yon. coming from a, let's let's just say, coming from a, totoo naman, prominent family, and here you are rolling up your sleeves. Did you see your entrepreneurial skills put to the test? <laughs> um, entrepreneur... Um, Kasi business mo na yan eh. Like mm. handling Eli Buendia, that, that, that's the product, that's the brand. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now you have to run this business this, which is called family, di ba? Yeah. I, I mean, I was also again lucky that my parents were, you know, kind of like I, I was learning from, from them, them, you know, how they, yeah, yeah, how they conducted themselves, how they operated and also my background of, of, you know, being able to communicate with different kinds of people. I think that's what really helped me kind of um, navigate this mi- business plus this like motivation to really be able to provide. I think all that that, that combined, you know, and also with the trust of uh, the artist also, it, it kind of really... Wow. Kaya ako nakangiti, ha? Tanda mo, nasa isip ko, this is a 16-year-old kid or a 17-year-old kid trying to find her way in an industry na medyo cutthroat. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it was. So now, you were you're inching your way you're moving up the ladder. What was the what was the social climate like? Did you find to ha- yourself to having less friends or more friends? Um, in the beginning, it was very challenging because you know of uh, you know I think everyone knows like what happened. So you know there were a lot of people that were against you know and there was I met. I was met with a lot of resistance. Pushbacks, mga Yeah, yeah, mga pushbacks. Pero, like I said, like, I just didn't mind, you know, what the the, the chatter. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kept moving forward, knowing that who I was representing was, you know, worth all that risk. And also, like, you know, um, yeah, negotiated with that, negotiated my way with that kind of in mind. So, just, Ang yeah. Galing. 